when you look at all of the concerns, all of the polls narrowing between Labour and Conservatives, what would it take for the Lib Dems, if there was a hung parliament, to do a coalition with Labour? What would be your demands? It won't happen. We will not put Jeremy Corbyn in number 10. We could have a hung parliament, and in that situation, um, the Liberal Democrats, who are currently second in more than 100 seats, as well as the seats where we are in the lead, would have a significant influence in the next parliament, but we will not be going into coalition with either Jeremy Corbyn or Boris Johnson. We've made that clear from the very beginning. Right, Jeremy Corbyn or Labour? Because if Labour agreed to replace Jeremy Corbyn, would you then do a coalition? That's a different scenario and that's not on the table at the moment. What we have said is that every vote for Labour is a vote for Jeremy Corbyn. Yes. It's a vote to put him in number 10 and we will not put Jeremy Corbyn in number 10. But what we would say to people is if you look at the MRP poll today, you see that the Liberal Democrats are the party who are in a position to uh, defeat the Conservatives in a number of seats and ensure that the next Parliament has to um, produce uh, legislation for a people's vote, which is what we have been calling for for three and a half years. Christine, what is the single message the Liberal Democrats have for suburban key marginal voters across all of the United Kingdom? What is the single appeal you have for those suburbanites? What we want to do is to build a brighter future. We want to tackle climate change, build more houses, invest in health and education. But to do that effectively, to build that better society, we have to stop Brexit. And in Scotland, we also have to stop independence. We have to ensure that the UK stays together and stays in the European Union so that we can build that brighter future.